Yeah, very good. How are you? <laughs> Thank you. Hey, nice to see you. Come on in. Looking forward to seeing your clothes. Oh, well, welcome to my hotel room with lots of goodies. I love yeah. this. This, this is one of my favorite pieces in my closet. It's so great. Olivia, like the pink ladies. I love it. It is Who made it for you? Tommy Hilfiger's design team. Do you wear it all the time? All the is time. It? What do you think is a wardrobe staple for you? Leather pants is a staple. Right. Um, a white button-down chiffon shirt is a staple. I love taking pieces like jeans and sweaters and blazers and statement coats and kind of reworking them and restyling them. It's interesting because you've got here, you've got the kind of classic rock and roll mm -hmm. thing. And then this is kind of classic uptown. Then you mix it. And then do you mix it? So would you wear these shorts with that jacket? Absolutely. And then you put on a t-shirt underneath it or a sweater or a turtleneck, yeah. depending on what the weather is for the day. Tiffy is probably my, my most worn designer. I wear Amy's collection, some, a piece of it every day. Really? Yeah. Wow. Somehow every day. And is, do you think Tibby's your favorite designer? Probably for, for every day. And you know, I love Valentino, Dior, I mix in Amelia Wickstead, I love. And then you've got the military leather. I love this. This is one of my favorite pieces. It's from Boda. And it's awesome. I just wear it with everything. So my favorite shoes would definitely have to be my Francesco Russo's. I truly love him. He's brilliant. And um, so good. yeah, no, they're really good. They're my Mohawk favorite. Mohawk shoes. Yes. Amazing. And you know, when I travel, you have to, they have to steam them out a little bit and take a comb just to make them perfect because they have they're, to be. They're amazing. Yeah. You seem to me to be such a perfectionist, super fastidious, that every... It's about detail. Detail. Of course, there's only a certain level of perfection one can achieve, but, um, you know, I try to be as thorough as possible. Yeah. Because it's funny, your wardrobe, there's a real gloss. Really? Yeah, it's <laughs> super sort of glossy. It's very edited, I feel yes. like, your style. You seem like you've really kind of harnessed what you love. Yes. Is that right? I Would think you... that I, you know, there, there's definitely a tone and direction from like things that I wear. Of course, you know, when, I, when I'm working on OliviaFarmer.com, I look at it on an editorial purpose, so it's a bit of a different, but when it comes to my own personal style, yeah, there's an I, I definitely try to edit it. Tight. Yeah. Chill. Flats or heels? Both. Both. Flats or heels? Both. <laughs> okay. Sporty or romantic? Sporty. Oh my god, I just totally thought you were going to say romantic. Morning or evening person? I love my mornings and getting up early before anybody starts their day. They're quiet before the storm. <laughs> Who has done it better than anyone else? My best friend Sarah Harris. Okay, hey, <laughs> name check. <laughs> so what's the biggest fashion faux pas you th that you've A, worn, and B, that you would recommend never wearing? I would say an ill-proportioned Ill suit is pretty bad yep. from man and woman. Um, and really bad shoes, because that can ruin an entire outfit. Would you write down your star secret, please? Yes. One of them. I'll do one, one of them. them. Okay. Your best. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you.